It's Grimm's Toy Show, Figure Insider, with your host, Ebenezer Middlesdorf. And today we'll be reviewing Big Sexy Kevin Nash. First time in the line. This is the back of the packaging. The artwork details Kevin Nash's very large breasts falling out of his bra there. Holy ass fucking Asian honeybees. It's Kevin Nash from The Outsiders. Look at how awesome. Says The Outsiders on his chest. Got the NWO painted title. Outsiders down the leg. We're gonna look at that in a minute. These are his tattoos. It says Outsiders down his leg. Tassels. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back up the fucking train here. Look at that torso. Looks like he's got a fucking boner under there. It's one hell of a huge package you're packing there, Kevin Nash. Jesus Christ, look at the size of the package on this figure. Why did they make it so big? Tassels. Try to give you guys an up-close look at the tassels here. Looks like the hair on the top of a horse's ass. He's got these little tiny feet. Giant package. Tiny feet. What a waste. This is his face. The hair color doesn't exactly match the goatee. But who cares? This figure has some inaccuracies. For example, Kevin Nash's titties are nowhere near as big as his artwork on the box. Also, the artwork on the box shows hair between his titties. And there is no hair on his titties on the figure. Mattel's getting like Jack starting to cheap out on details now. Side by side comparison with the Jack's Deluxe Aggression figure, which is basically the same. Uh, you know, attire, whatnot, same era. Um, the Jack's figure has the gloves, the Mattel version does not. Jack's figure also came with elbow pads, Mattel figure does not. Looking at their faces side by side, I actually think the Jack's figure face looks a lot more like Kevin Nash. That's right, bitch. We're taking over. Because the big man and the medium-sized man are ready to kick ass. Nailed it. Please like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe for more.